Yo, what's up guys? Just got back fishing. It's hot as hell. It's probably 99, 100 degrees, something like that. Maybe 99, something like that. Just got in a tackle warehouse order. Um, ordered a couple new things. First off is going to be this hot pot. Hot pot. Lead pour. Um, I got it for a buddy. He's going to make a ton of jigs and some other gear. Yeah, this thing's pretty slick. Um... It, it, for him, it's just going to be easier for him to pour like 800 pounds of, of lead. So this will make it easier for him to do that style of job. Uh, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be ginormous. Got that one. Tackle Warehouse shirt. Have a million of those. Receipt. Have way too many of those. Got in some ride socks. Um, these are the ones that Lake Fort sells. Nice thing about them is the rubber tips here. It's also got a hanging tag, so if you want to hang them for your roof or ceiling in your garage or whatever in a truck. And then it's got the uh, the rubber hard seal here for uh, not getting your hooks embedded in your rod shock and getting them all tangled up and having a pain to pull them out. Um, this one's seven foot six for my swim bait rod. Definitely need one of those. Some Berkeley bags. Looks like these are the big ones, the large ones for plastics. I'm um, keeping a binder. They actually look pretty big. I think it's six of them in each one or five in each one. Um, but just to keep your plastics in, you can take them out of the, uh, the storage bags and, and keep them in these or spinner baits, whatever you want to put in here. Um, the big giant freaking bait you might have seen on Facebook. From Dual Realis. This thing looks like a rat. <laughs> it's huge. It's the new Deka Shin Mushi. This thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's at two and a half ounces. This thing is enormous. I've got the uh, normal Shin Mushis, and they're like the size of the wing. Um, God dang, this thing is huge. It should be a neat bait, I guess. Uh, Lake of the Ozarks coming up this fall. Instead of throwing a buzz bait or a popper, I'm going to probably toss this bad boy on my 735 or 736. This thing is 32 and a half grams, 75 millimeter long. Uh, pretty cool bait. It's huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I like that size, especially in the fall time and the early spring. They should crush the hell out of it. Um, picked up some stuff for the winter time. Picked up some Daiwa grease. Can't have enough of this. I probably got 20 bottles stacked up. Um, just because the reels go nuts this time of year. Picked up some more Lucas oil. Good oil for your reels. Um, I use it for everything but spool bearings. It's really good oil as well. That's the Lucas oil. And then I picked up five bottles of zpi long cast oil because from what i hear the stuff is being discontinued in the states so i decided to pretty much buy everything tackle warehouse had before everybody else got it um bearing oil this is awesome it's micro diamond infused like all their other oils uh, this is a great oil for bearings uh between this bokeh's oil uh, both great oils, but this stuff, you know, runs, I think, 20 bucks retail. So it's not as cheap as Boca when I sell it for 10 bucks. But um, this is what I'll be putting in customer reels. So had to stock up on it. Other than that, it's really hot and I'm sweating like a pig. So I will talk to you guys later. Smash the thumbs up, guys, and we'll talk to you guys later.